Hi there. In this video, I'm not going to talk about uh, the coronavirus and all that too much. <laughs> We're going to make some food. We're going to make bannock. Don't get your hopes up because uh, I'm not the best chef. Uh, I'm good at eating, not so good at making food. <clears throat> okay, we have a very essential beer. I don't need that for the bannock, but I, I just like beer. Um, my knife and my little saw here. Uh, okay, you need a frying pan, obviously. And uh, I made the dough at home. Here it is. Uh, it's very simple, the recipe is very simple. It consists of um, flour. Um, so in a doomsday scenario, the way you get flour is that you, um, if you haven't stored it at home, you have to um, the, you have to bribe the little pixies, and then they will go out under the moonlight and um, on their fields and harvest and uh, and uh, get you some flour. But uh, you will have to bribe them with and pay them well with um, gold and silver. <clears throat> so um, I also have some salt in the dough. In a doomsday scenario, the way you get salt is that you um, you go down to the sea and you filter uh, the seawater uh, through your beard and uh, and that's that's the, the salt sticks. That's how you get salt. And uh, you need some water as well. The water needs to be 100% globalist tears. <laughs> because the whole dream of globalism is uh, falling to pieces now, isn't it? So while we are waiting for the... We need a good layer of coals in the fire. Uh, we're going to shape this into a uh, pizza shaped flat thing. That's the idea. I don't have any, uh, what's it called, baking powder. The thing that makes the dough rice. So it's very basic. That's why, that's why we'll call this Björn's Doomsday Bannock. And because of the fact that I'll probably burn it. <clears throat> but okay. Something like this. Make sure you wash your hands first. Very important. Ah. Okay.
I did say don't get your hopes up. So, <laughs> no, it's okay. It's not too bad actually. Okay, so I brought I brought some goat's cheese, Norwegian goat's cheese, which is the most Norwegian food you you can get. And ah, uh, this is uh, yeah, wonderful. So it's a kind of sweet goat's cheese. Let's see now. Ah, hmm. Hmm. Oh. Perfect. Yeah, it's not raw. Hmm. Mmm. Oh no. I... <clears throat> I dropped a bit of the goat's cheese. Well, that's for the pixies. Mmm. Mmm. There's something about food you make over the campfire. It just tastes better. Especially with some beer. It's cool. Cheers. Some people they they like to drink milk with bread and goat's cheese, but uh, milk is for for baby cows, <coughs> and uh, beer is for us. <laughs> it's uh, perfectly cooked. If I have, if I have to say it myself, couldn't be better. Hmm. And you don't get this in fancy restaurants, do you? No. <clears throat> so I highly recommend Björn's Doomsday Bannock with beer. I must say I'm, uh, I'm actually totally okay with this self-isolation thing. <sighs> yeah. It's quite okay. Not much of a change for me, anyway. Okay, last bite. <clears throat> I wish I brought more um, and bacon. Next time, Bannock with bacon, I think. Yeah. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video and watching my awesome cooking skills. <laughs> um, thank you for spending this time with me out here in the, the old Labo up in the woods. Um, if you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Um, 
yeah, I think that's all. That's all for now. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.